Oink, oink, oink. Hey everybody, I'm back. Where was I? I was in Florida. I got the heck out of Northern Illinois where it's been like so cold. And I went to Florida, stayed with my old neighbors who moved to Florida. Why didn't I move to Florida with my old neighbors? I don't know, because I didn't and I should have. No, you know what? I didn't want to move to Florida. I just want to live in Florida for two months out of the year. January and February, that's it. I just want to live in Florida in January and February. So anyway, I was gone for 10 days, played a lot of golf, as much golf as I could play in 10 days in Florida. It was actually a little chilly in Florida, but it was perfect golf weather. I am not complaining, not complaining. Oh, yes, let's just kick the camera. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I'm back and I have nothing in the fridge. Well, I, no, that's a lie because these items were in my fridge, but there is not much. There's hardly anything. Somehow I managed to have some celery that still seems ripe. And I got some tofu, tofu, tofu. That's a new lovely, that's a new lovely item you can buy at the grocery store. Highly not recommended tofu. Maybe I was trying to combine, combine tempeh and tofu. Anyway, I got some tofu and some tempeh. I got some olives and a sad looking, a sad looking onion, a sad looking onion. So anyway, I think I'm gonna make a tofu scramble. What I really want is some fresh spinach, but I don't have time to go to the grocery store and I'm too hungry. Oh, and I also have some of my fermented tofu, which is completely ready. It's fermented. I'm gonna stuff some this in some celery. And you know what, I'm not sure. I gotta relook at the recipe. I think I might have done something very wrong. Although it tastes, it ta the taste is good. It is so salty, people. I think I might have misread three teaspoons to be three tablespoons because I know I put three tablespoons of salt in the jar. And it is, it's almost, I like salt it's almost too salty for me. I actually kind of tried to rinse the brine off, um, but I can tell the flavor, if it weren't so darn salty, it'd be really good. So anyway, this is just fermented tofu that I may or may not have totally screwed up. I gotta check it out. So anyway, I'm gonna stuff some celery, I'm gonna make a tofu scramble, and this is gonna be breakfast. I'll tell you what, on vacation, I ate way too many carbs. Um, you know, of course you're staying with somebody and they want to go out to eat. We went out to eat a lot and it wasn't very vegan friendly. And I ended up eating a lot of, I ate more tortilla chips in the past week than I've eaten in probably two years. Cause twice we went to this Mexican restaurant and there wasn't, there was the only thing like on the menu I could get was like vegetable fajitas, which is great. But you know, I'm so starving and they of course bring out the big thing of salsa and the tortilla chips, which I'm sure were just fried and laid with oil and I just over ate chips. I ate so many chips. Oh my god, you are rambling again. I need to stop rambling. Oh, and so I go to the cupboard. I need black salt. Obviously, I must buy black salt every time I'm at the grocery store. Who could possibly need this much black salt? That is just crazy. I always think, oh, I think I'm out of black salt. I obviously am not out of black salt. This is enough black salt. Oh my goodness, I don't know, I could make my own little beach. So anyway, you need black salt to make a tofu scramble, but you don't need five packages. Holy smokes. Right. So I'm just eating some celery stuffed with um, that fermented tofu because, I don't know, you guys do this like you're cooking dinner, but you're so hungry you gotta eat as well as cook. So I'm just snacking on this while I'm making my tofu scramble. some, I actually found some tomatoes hiding in the back of my fridge. Ooh, they don't look, they're a little bit wrinkly. What do tomatoes turn in when they wrinkle up? I know you got like plums that turn into prunes and grapes that turn into raisins. What do wrinkly tomatoes turn into? Wrinkly tomatoes, I guess. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I'm hungry. I don't know why am I so hungry. You guys ever find like over the holidays where if you eat more than you normally do or you go on vacation and you come back and you're just like, you're just like freaking hungry and you just like, you can't fill up. I think 
Oh, this is me. This is me talking science here, right? I think your stomach, you actually stretch your stomach out a little bit or something and you can eat more and don't feel satisfied unless you eat a lot. So this is just some tempeh because <laughs> I need to add soybeans to my soy. I don't know why. It was in there. And like I said, I'm hungry. So I'm going to add just a quarter of the tempeh to the whole, that whole pack of soy, which I think puts me over my five servings of soy a day. Oh, oh well, I don't want that in there. That wasn't food. Oops, that was paper. I got this turmeric at the Woodstock Fruit Festival from somebody that grows turmeric in Hawaii and they make their own, they make their own spice. I actually had more than this. This is all that's left. It is the best. I'm not a big fan of turmeric. I feel like, add it to this, add it to that. I just find it, I don't know, bitter and not good, but, oh, this just smells, oh, so good. It's just good. Trust me, it's good. And I can't tell you how to get it because I don't think they sell online. I gotta wait and hope they come back to the Woodstock Fruit Festival next year so I can get some more. All right. Here goes the black salt. Quite a bit of black salt. Eggy, 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 eggy. Makes it eggy. I used to be a big egg eater. I used to follow a diet called the Ducan diet. Probably you Americans never heard of the Ducan diet. I think it's a French diet. Man, talk about eating animals, dudes. It was like one day you'd eat pure protein, like no carbs, nothing, just pure protein. Like you could eat chicken, just like chicken or eggs or meat. That was it, no vegetables at all. And then the next day you got to eat animals and vegetables, but like low carb vegetables, like you couldn't eat potatoes or anything. So it would have to be like broccoli, spinach, green beans, you know, so non-starchy vegetables and protein. And you would keep switching off like that one day all animals. The next day, animals with non-starchy vegetables. I'll tell you what, I did that for years. I'm, I'm surprised I'm alive. I'm surprised my kidneys didn't shut down and all that. But anyway, I used to, I used to eat a lot of eggs. Like I would buy like the whole big carton of the egg whites that, you know, the tall one. Oh, can you see my hands? You know, not the one that's this size. The one that's this size. I used to eat a whole carton of those egg whites. Just whites, I think it was called. Man, I used to eat a lot of eggs. I, the thought of eating eggs these days, oh, it just disgusts me. I didn't know what I was doing and I feel guilty. I would feel so guilty about all those poor chickens. I used to just buy chickens from the store, you know, pre-cooked chicken and just freaking eat a whole chicken. You know, that'd be lunch. Ugh. Terrible. Bad girl. I was so naughty. Anyway, this is going to be uh, kind of my, I guess it's going to be my lunch. I got to get to the store, man. I got to get to the store and I got to get back to my convict conditioning. I need to get, I need to get ahead of Casey from Vegetable Police. He's, he's, he's blowing me away. His bridge blows mine away. Maybe today I'll show you my bridge. It's awful. It's awful. But I'll show you. I think. Maybe. We'll see. All right. There's my bowl. My big old bowl of Tofu scramble. I did add some pepper. And I'm sure everybody out there knows if you want to absorb turmeric, it's better if you eat it with pepper. So I just dumped a whole crap ton of pepper on top of that. As part of my convict conditioning, I'm going to attempt to do a bridge. I'm going to attempt to get my head on this. This helps. It helps my bridge. Maybe I would do it down onto this side. Let's do the bridge down here. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. There we go. Ah, oh, there. My bridge. No, that's not my bridge. That's not my bridge. And no, that's not my bridge. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Ah, we can do this. We can do this. 
the bridge. Okay, get my head up off the ground. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I got my, I'm on my head. I'm on my head. Oh, hey, hands up. Heads down. Heads up. Heads down. Heads up. Heads down. hail hail's cool it doesn't look like it's very big hail can you see it bouncing around out there sometimes man we get hail the size of your fist it's like huge hail I don't think we're gonna get huge hail I definitely think this means it's getting colder out though all right, for dinner, I'm gonna try to stay a little bit low carb again. I don't wanna say that I'm trying a vegan keto diet, but I've been thinking about trying a vegan keto diet maybe for a couple of weeks. I would never stay on a vegan keto diet long term, but I ate so many carbs last week that I just, I just feel like eating some fat and I hardly ever eat fat. And there's a couple of recipes that are really high fat that I'd like to try, you know what I mean? But you don't dare try a high fat recipe and eat high carb at the same time. That's gonna be a disaster. It's like you do one or the other. Anyway, so tonight I'm making a recipe that's called, um, I think it's cauliflower hash browns and then I'm gonna have some salad as well. And it called for half a head of cauliflower, which, man, are you talking about a big old head, a small head, a medium head? I wish they'd give it to me in weights or in measurements. This is a pretty big head of cauliflower, but I'm gonna do it the same. I'm gonna use half a, half a head, and I'm gonna chop this up, kind of rice it in the food processor. So I actually weighed that half a head of cauliflower, and that was about a pound, over a little over a pound of cauliflower. So I have no idea if I got the right amount or not. Now I'm adding in some onion. And it didn't say to cook any of this beforehand. You're supposed to make the patties raw, but I'm just looking at the cook time and thinking I'm just gonna have a raw, a raw hash brown if I do it that way. So I'm just gonna cook this a little bit to get it started. I'm not following the instructions, because I don't like to. I don't wanna, I don't wanna follow the instructions. All right, all that's in there is cauliflower and onions that I cooked a little bit. That's a quarter cup of chickpea flour or garbanzo beef flour or besan, is it besan? Tablespoon of arrowroot powder. You could use cornstarch. Now it called for garlic powder, but man, I can't find any garlic powder, but I got a couple of cloves of roasted garlic. And then I thought I'd add a little, a little onion powder. Okay, I'm just gonna dump some oregano in there and some salt. This all up. I'll probably check the seasonings. Oh, except for that. Oh man. Well, that was dumb. Where'd those garlics go? I should. I don't know what I was thinking. Now I've got just two cloves of garlic in there like that. I should have chopped that up first. I'm gonna dig them. I'm gonna find them. Where are you? Where are you? All right. No. Just no, I don't like the way that tastes. I'm gonna add some, uh, some all-purpose seasoning. And 
something else. Maybe some chili flake. Yeah, let's add some chili flake. A little bit of nooch, 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 nooch. A lot of pepper. I buy my coconut oil by the gallon. I think this is a gallon. Yeah, a gallon. But I don't normally eat it. I use this on my skin when I do cupping and rolling and all that. But, oh, and I, I do use it um, when I make cheese sometimes. So I have a whole lot of coconut oil here. All right, I changed my mind because it's my prerogative. I can do what I want to do. It's my prerogative. You guys remember that song? I think that was Bobby Brown. What was that? New, no, not New Kids on the Block. What was that? What was Bobby Brown in? Uh, new Edition? Is that right? I think it was New Edition. Anyway, they say you can bake them or saute them in the pan. So I'm going to do half and half. So it made six of these little suckers. So this one I just put like a, a little bit of coconut oil down on the parchment paper just so they don't stick. And I'm trying to make a little hash brown, little hash brown shapes. Can I get them the same thickness? And so these are gonna go in a 400 degree oven. And these other three, I'm going to actually cook in the pan. So I'm also making a little salad dressing for my salad. <laughs> wow, that's brilliant, Gary. Anyway, so what I got in here is I got one hearts of palm, I got three tablespoons of coconut milk, the kind from the can. Yeah, we're going fat, high fat here. That's the whole point of this is high fat. I got a little soy sauce, a little miso, and some cilantro in here. So I'm gonna whirl this up and see what that comes out like. So I added a little water to it. This is um, just what's left. I, I put it in a squeeze bottle, but ooh, this is, this is pretty tasty. Let's see who turns out better. Okay, so that's the one that was sauteed in the pan, and this is one that was cooked in the oven. I'm gonna top it with some sauce. All right, go eat it up, and I'll tell you which one was better, or if they were the same, or if this tasted good at all. I'll be back. So, eating it with the sauce on the salad, I couldn't tell a difference between the two. So I'm gonna eat them, I'm just gonna eat them plain and see if there's one I like better. I really couldn't tell the difference between the sauteed and the baked, so I'll just bake them next time because it's, it's just as easy. I'm going to throw my chronometer up here. Didn't look like, I didn't eat very many calories yesterday, only like 1,200, which is uh, low for me. Um, I went on some uh, vegan keto websites and found out that to, to actually do vegan keto, to start, you're supposed to be under 20 net carbs. Holy cow, I had like 54 net carbs. I can't imagine what I could have cut out of there to get down to 20 net carbs. That's, that's crazy. But anyway, uh, we will uh, catch you guys all later.